Thank yeah. you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much you. for having us. Thank you. Cereal Mascioni is the elder statesman of New York's fine dining. For nearly 40 years, he's ruled the roost at the ultimate power spot, Le Cirque. Look who they are. They all become... All the ladies of yeah. New York, and, and there uh, you are. <laughs> in those days, uh, it was 30 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Uh, skinny, elegant. The successful restaurateur's newest project is closer to home. Which of the sons is this? Mauro. With partners that include his wife, Egidiana, and sons, Mario, Marco, and Moro, who all grew up in the family business, Restaurant Sirio, named for the 80-year-old patriarch, has just opened at Manhattan's Pierre Hotel. Almost four years ago, when I came to this country, I had a job here. A busboy, less than a waiter. So it's something like a homecoming for you. You were here at the beginning yeah, yeah, of your career the as the busboy, and now you're opening this fantastic restaurant. Yeah. Edgy, what does it mean to you? This is his name. I'm very proud of it, you know. Plus, we have another city in Las Vegas. This must be such a treat and a, a, and a privilege for you to be working with family all the time. So the pain. Well, we get, and pain. Yeah. Well, we get to cover each other's shoulders, most of all. Most successful organizations have one goal in mind. So we listen to what our parents taught us. Mario's the strategist out of all of us. I'm more of the service, dining room, wine uh, aficionado, while Mauro is the, the, the true palate of the family. How do you do it without killing each other all the time, working together all the time? We vacation apart. <laughs> Based on Le Cirque's brand identity of high-style hospitality, the Mascioni Group runs three restaurants in New York and three in Las Vegas, a city that's now home to the most profitable restaurants in America. We get to meet doctors, bankers, politicians, everybody in every walk of life, most of the time they're in a good mood. And if, if they're losing at the blackjack tables, maybe they won't be as, as much in a good mood. That, fortunately, that <laughs> happens after everybody eats. So. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Who is most like their dad? I would say Mauro. Now we can all go like <laughs> Mauro. This guy. Why? Do you feel that way, Mauro? No. Yeah, both both very time. stubborn, actually. Stubborn. What do you think you learned from the business from your dad most? Sincerity, mostly the dedication and uh, also taking care of the people who take care of us. So, Sirio, you have served some of the most well-known and, and most uh, important, uh, most famous names in the world. What, what does that identity mean for you now with this new restaurant? There are people that I have met that they are great. And, you know, there are two or three that I really have been captivated by, by their style, their power. And most of all, the intelligence is like a chef. You have a great chef, but to find a chef that is great and intelligent is very difficult. I'm impressed that everybody went into the family business. No black sheep that wanted to go somewhere else. He wanted a lawyer, he wanted a doctor, and an architect. Yeah. That, that's what I want. And, and now we got, all sell soup. And you got three restaurateurs. But Sirio, it's no secret that at some point you will retire. So who's the successor? I, I ask you to teach me how not to get old. <laughs> so let me ask you, you, you guys, the sons, what makes your father such a great businessman? What is the secret to have been as long-lasting and successful as he has this? been? Yes, edgy first. Because he's doing only one thing in his life, this. You want the truth? Yes. She's the reason why he's successful. I mean, she was multitasking, everything. We never ate out in restaurants, and when she no longer had any laundry or any uh, cooking to do, it allowed us to start our first project, which is Chirico over on 55th Street. We just based it on everything that we ate all our lives at home when my mom was cooking. And basically, the three restaurants, you know, Le Cirque, uh, Chirico, and Cereo, we're trying to, to use the term in the business world, diversify our portfolio. Uh, and Cereo is a, you know, the Maccioni's taking you out to dinner how we like to. In Las Vegas, every hotel has the steakhouse, the Italian restaurant, uh, the fine dining restaurant, Japanese, Chinese. Steakhouse. What is this that I'm eating right here? This is absolutely delicious. That's a gnocchi, gnocchi with scallops. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. No, potato, hand-rolled gnocchi with uh, cherry tomatoes and uh, octopus. octopus. And basil. Delicious. Let me ask you about your international expansion. Why New Delhi, India? One Nobody thing very important is when they look for you. It's good to go with people that look for you, that they want you. If you had to go, can I come? It doesn't work. 
So they come in. They came they, to you. They made a big offer. But they like, couldn't refuse. I mean, yeah, I, I, well, Sirio has been absolutely delightful. Cheers. Congratulations Sirio, to all okay. of you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so thank much. You. Cheers. Thank you. you more than anything. Thank you. My thanks to Mario, Marco, Mauro, Edgy, and Sirio Mascioni. Up next on the Wall Street Journal Report, a look at the news this upcoming week that will have an impact on your money. And now on a weekend when eating takes such high priority, some food for thought from Newark Mayor Cory Booker, who will soon be making do with less. For more on our show and our guests, check out the website, wsjr.cnbc.com. And I hope you follow me on Twitter and on Google+. Plus. Look for at Maria Bartiromo. Now look at the stories coming up in the week ahead that may move the markets and impact your money this week. Tuesday, we'll get a look at housing prices in major cities across the country when we get the S&P Case-Shiller Index report. On Wednesday, more housing news with the latest number of new homes sold out on Wednesday. Also Wednesday, the Federal Reserve Beige Book will be out that tracks activity in regional economies across the country. And Thursday, we'll get the second reading of third quarter's gross domestic product report. The GDP, of course, the broadest measure of the health of the American economy, typically a market mover. And finally today, at a time of year when many worry about eating too much, Newark, New Jersey Mayor Cory Booker is preparing to trim his food budget. In fact, the New Jersey Democrat will live on the equivalent cost of the food stamp benefit for one week. In the Garden State, that's a $133.26 a month, or $33.32 a week. Booker initiated this challenge following an exchange with a Twitter follower over the role of government in nutrition and the food stamps benefit. He'll begin eating on less than $5 a day December 4th, and he will be discussing it on social media. Food for thought in this time of plenty for so many of us. That'll do it for us for today. Thank you so much for being with me each week. Keep it right here where Wall Street meets Main Street. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you again next weekend.